Lauren and welcome back to my channel. So because Halloween is only a few days away, I am so stoked. I feel like you guys know this about me, but by the time the Halloween series is done for my own costume, I really just enjoy being something super, super basic. So stay tuned on my Instagram to see what basic 2019 costume Jeremy and I are doing. It's like probably the most basic one I've ever done. But I made a ton of cute costumes for you guys and I can't wait to see your photos. So make sure to tweet me or tag me on Instagram if you do any of the costumes from the Halloween series. There's three full episodes in the series so I'll leave those all linked down below. And like I was so on the fence on if I should do another DIY costume for this weekend. But I figure it might be more entertaining to put myself through the ringer. I don't know why I do this every year and try a James Charles Halloween makeup tutorial. We did this last year and I did this like crazy concealer melted drip wax face situation. You guys really enjoyed that so maybe this will just be a thing we do every year where we attempt a Sister James makeup tutorial. So the video I'm going to be following today is actually the collab he did when Kylie Jenner launched her makeup palette last year which I don't have. So I just have uh, every palette that I basically own out in front of me to try to make up for the colors that I don't specifically have. As you guys know, I say this every makeup video, DIY does not translate over to makeup, and I don't know why. I would love more than anything to be makeup talented, but it's just something that I don't have. Can I glue things together? Yes. Can I freehand paint? Yes. Can I cut things out in a straight line? Yes. Can I put eyeshadow on my own face? No. So anyways, uh, buckle up. This is probably gonna be super entertaining. I've watched the tutorial a few times, so I like kind of have an idea what I'm doing. But like, I, I don't. I really just don't, let's be honest. I just never do when it's makeup videos. I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. Okay, let's get started. I feel like makeup would just be so much easier if I only had to do one eye. Cause then there's not like a matching component to everything. This is a scary color that I would normally never use. Which I should start with first. <laughs> Everything's so stressful. Okay, and contact. I feel like I should have primed my eyelid. Should we start again? <laughs> Makeup is so hard. All right, let's try this again. Please stand by while I open up all my 14 makeup palettes. Okay, it's like an orangey pink color. Orangey, actually maybe, yeah, there we go. Okay, here we go. And contact. Kinda looks like I got punched in the eye by a flamingo. I don't know what Kylie looked like. So this whole situation with like not having the Kylie palette uh, is really killing me. Mostly because they're chatting a lot of the video so James doesn't walk through exactly what kind of shade he's using. So not only do I not know what I'm doing, I don't know what color I'm using. So it looks like an auburny, almost purpley brown color on the outer corner. And then he goes in with like a gold cut crease with some like purple on the lash line. So these are colors I've never used before. Can't wait to see how bruised I look. <laughs> busted and bruised. <laughs> James's thing is like hot and fresh or whatever it used to be, mine's busted and bruised. doesn't look the worst. Okay, next step. <laughs> Fun fact, we just learned that Matt is partially colorblind because all these colors look the same to him in the palettes. <laughs> so look that's the like, same. <laughs> some of those like, look the same. These look the same no, to you? No, not exactly. These two look the same? You, that's why they put the white around it, so they look different. Is that why? Yeah. Those are different it, colors. Nope. <laughs> Here we go. I feel like my eyelids are more wrinkly than people's eyelids are supposed to be. Like, why is it so wrinkly? Okay, yeah, I'm 26, but why do my eyelids feel 85? Ooh, this doesn't look the worst. I just saw myself, guys, in the viewfinder, and I was like, <gasps> not breathing. Honestly, on a busted to bruise scale, 10 being the most busted, I would say I'm only sitting at a three or four. Also, this next step happens so subtly that, like, if you weren't, watching exactly what he's doing, which I'm sure most of you guys are because y'all are so good at makeup. He like 
squirts his brush. I feel like that was maybe too much, but wets it with something that is probably not water, but it, it looks like water to me. So we're gonna go with that to like pack on the glitter. Ooh, this nice. Guys, this is one of the products that has sat in my makeup drawer for so long because I've been too scared to use it. Ooh! Okay, Tart, I see you. Wow, so shimmery. Okay. Okay, left eye looking a little stronger than right eye, but it's okay. <sighs> okay, so purple is another one of those scary colors that I like just don't use because scary. Okay, here we go, here we go. This is lash line. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <sighs> it's in my eyeball. It's in my eyeball. Busted and bruised levels quickly increasing. Okay, I need to blend. I don't know what brush to use. This is also overwhelming. I feel like I have like a part of eyelid that just like doesn't accept color. I feel like that probably is just absolutely an excuse for me not being good at makeup. But that's how it feels. Please let me know if anyone else experiences this. It's uh, not what Kylie looks like. I don't know where to go from here. done. This ended up being a much heavier look than Kylie has on, but you know what? It's really good for me. <laughs> if I'm being honest, for like the rest of the makeup world, it's like a two, but for me, this is like an 8.5, I'd say. So I'm just going to some highlighter on the brow bone and then I am ready to start the scariest part, which is the face. One more nose highlighter. Why my nose be looking plastic? That ish is shiny. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, here we go. Okay, so first swoop is like. <gasps> wow, this is a really good eyeliner in white. Wow, this is like she opaque. Why is this so scary? Okay, let's start the teeth. Also, I feel like I've dyed this thing with massive amounts of foundation. It started off as a great product, it's slowly turning into a uh, MAC NC30 currently. <laughs> okay, here we go, teeth. <laughs> okay, okay, and... Con. Maybe we just try the other one. I have a really small mouth, so I have four less than everyone else. Twelve. How many do you have? Fourteen on the top. Yeah, okay, I've got two less here and here. I got a small mouth. Is this a bad time for me to be like, I'm starving? I'm so hungry. <laughs> Not bad though. I have uh, teeth in my face. <laughs> okay, so next I think I have to start adding black with black eyeliner and the whole thing where things start getting kind of scary. I always say this every time I do a makeup tutorial, I know things could go very, very wrong at any moment, but I feel like I did the hardest part already. But like, obviously not gonna put it past me to like mess this up big time. Yo, shout out Kat Von D. The Locket Concealer is freaking next level. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so I look terrifying. Uh, and also we had a quick granola bar break because I was starving and I was like. <laughs> also, upon listening to the video a little closer, it's setting spray that we're just like dusting the brush with. And also, I don't have this whole X on my X eyeshadow, so I'm just gonna use straight up black and just paint in the rest of it. I have like a duochrome purple to add on top of the highlight, but this is just gonna have to be like good old black eyeshadow. Also, I just feel as if there should never be this much eyeliner on your face. So can't wait for the uh, massive breakout that will be upon me after this video. I'm straight up so scary. This is currently the situation. Hey. <laughs> Yo, guys, also, I feel like I accidentally made my face a little skinnier because I went not all the way down to my jaw. And I'm, like, kind of here for this face shape that I accidentally gave myself. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and, like, do an iridescent dusting. Uh, ah! God, I'm a mess. Of, um, like, the duochrome purple that I have. Ooh, it's, like, very a la Shane Dawson. Like, very, like alien shifty. Alien cheekbones? Is that you? Oh my god, I just want to put it everywhere. I don't even want to just like put it on one spot. I want to put it everywhere. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> I literally was about to be like, and we're done. <sighs> hate watching my mouth move so much. Ah! Okay. Well, uh, okay. Now what do I do with my face? <laughs> uh, I look nuts. <laughs> also guys, look at the funny faces that I can make when I move my face with my teeth on the outside of my face. Ready? Fun. Let me know how you guys think I did if I improved from last year I've definitely done more makeup in the past year than I had the previous year So let me know if you guys think I improved a little bit since last Halloween I hope you guys enjoyed watching me struggle through this. You know what? I think it came together on the busted and bruised scale of Me being terrible at makeup. I would say I'm only like a 6.5. I would say it's not that bad So for like general makeup artists, it's bad like a two again like a two on like the real makeup artist scale But like on my scale I think I might stick with an 8.5. I don't think it's that bad. It's kind of bothering me a little bit that I wasn't able to match my lower lash line purple down to this purple, because purple plus black down here just like didn't equal the same color. But I mean, it's okay. We did it, we here, we look crazy. It's like two in the afternoon right now. Like I don't really know what I'm gonna do now, aside from like maybe make a TikTok and then use 16 makeup wipes to get this all off my face and then probably do a face mask and then really, really moisturize my skin. How do special effects makeup people do that? Or even just makeup people in general? Like always, I have so much respect for you guys. This is crazy, but I did have a lot of fun just like playing with all this makeup and like actually finally using the palettes that, you know, like Sister James has given me. This is a Zoella one. This is a BH Cosmetics one. I've had so much fun playing with the makeup that I'm always too scared to touch. So let me know if there's any other makeup looks you want me to attempt and struggle through for your entertainment because I do actually have fun doing this. I feel like there's a general pattern where it like goes bad, 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 and then it, it, it kind of goes back up and then we plateau at like a very mediocre level after that. But it's okay. One day I will get better. Also, why does the back of my hand look like this? I feel like I didn't even realize how bad it is until right now. Love this abstract art for me on my hands. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't seen the other three episodes of Halloween, I'll have those linked in the down bar below. All my socials will also be in the down bar along with my merch store. Let me know in the comments how you think I did and what you're gonna be for Halloween this year. Again, can't wait to be my super basic costume. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys on Wednesday for Leave on and Sunday of the Sun. Okay, bye guys, love you. My
pretty little kingdom out here running the show.